the same size as Brekkajaku! I came to Hyogo because here is the museum of the legendary manga artist. It's the reason why I've come to know Japan. If I had a chance to visit Japan, I wanted to come here first. Yes, the world's Osamu Tezuka. Especially in the manga, Message to Adolf, the city of Kobe appears a lot. Kitano Ijinkan and buildings that resemble the Weathercock House appear on the scene. Lamps, shaped in Lily of the Valley, decorating the Motomachi shopping arcades. The Ajinkan was built in Kitano district to be a residential base for increasing foreigners coming to Japan after the port was opened. The Meiji government designated a residential area allowing Japanese and foreigners to live together. Then built a route going north to south between the high grounds and the settlement. This is how the Ijinkan, the housing for foreigners, gathered in the fine residential area in the high grounds where the settlement and the port can be overlooked. <laughs> it's huge! <laughs> This statue is Tetsujin Nijuhachigo, designed by Mitsuteru Yokoyama. Mr. Yokoyama started drawing mangas in middle school, admiring Osamu Tezuka. Ah, excuse me. Um, could you take my photo, please? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> In Manga Ronin, an autobiographical manga written by Mitsuteru Yokoyama, he wrote about the time when he worked for Kobe Bank and drew places related to Hyogo, like Suma Beach. The gallery is located in the Taisho Suji shopping arcades. <laughs> Hello. Konnichiwa. I, I wanted to see the Mitsutera Yokoyama world. Ah, this is it? Oh, wow. 
これが永田駅の前に18メーターの鉄人28号が立ってるんですけどその原型です。あ、uh,、Yes、I saw it this morning. It's not far from here,、oh, right. isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Why did you create this gallery? ここの場所のある、えー、大正筋商店街はですね、阪神・淡路大震災で、えー、燃えてしまった場所で、新しく建物を建てたんですけれども、人が少なくなってしまったので、えー、町おこしのために、えー、横山先生の作品の力を借りて、活動するためにこの施設を作りました。Oh, wow. That's a great reason. Oh, amazing. 横山ミステル先生の作品の中で「鉄人28号」と「三国志」という作品がすごく人気なので2つで町おこしを行っているんです。Ah, so this is another one of his really famous series. はい。中国の歴史の物語です。Oh, wow. That's incredible. So, ミステル横山 is from Kobe, isn't he? そうです。ここのの出身の人で。鉄人二十八号を書く前はここで働いてたりされてました。Oh, wow. Even in the movie industry, screenwriters who supported the world's Kurosawa are from Hyogo as well. So, this is his life. Amazing. I was born in the past, and 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 I was born in the past. クロスアキラ監督の映画なんですけどでそこからこの頃は市川町にまだおられたんですが34歳「生きる」の映画の頃から引っ越しされましたそれをね一番最初に描いたシーンです The very first one Wow Amazing ですね私が生まれて初めて描いたシナリオであるって書いてあるんですけれども療養所でねあの初めてシナリオに出会うんですけどここに伊丹南作さんって言って伊丹十三監督のお父さんなんですが指示をしてあの教えてもらったっていうか先生ですね私の年の息子の先生 Using this drawing board Hashimoto began writing scenarios on a commuter train This is a magazine titled Japanese Films which Hashimoto received from a soldier Who he met in a sanatorium. When he asked the soldier who the most famous scenario writer is in Japan, the soldier replied, Mansaku Itami. It is said that Hashimoto sent his first scenario to Mansaku Itami. So, original? This. Wow. This one is famous overseas, isn't it? Star Wars. Yeah. Wow, Star Wars. Are any of the characters in Star Wars? Princess Leia. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Just inspiration. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? What? Is that at 100 years old? So he looks so young. <laughs> so he looks so young. I don't know how to say it. でもまあ、あの亡くなったけどしましたけど、うんはい、その時にした映画が「の砂の器」とか「八甲田さん」と「私は貝になりたい」っていう戦争の映画なんですけどね、うん、でも何度見てもいい映画っていうのはあるので、うん、本当にあのずっと語り継がれていくっていう映画っていうのは、うん、あの古くなっても
なんとのを見たいっていう。うん、しのぶ橋本。Was born in Tsurui, Ichikawa. Hashimoto's home still remains near the Tsurui station. Shinobu Hashimoto left these words All of the works I have written are in the various shapes of clouds. Shinobu Hashimoto from Ichikawa and Takashi Shimura from Ikuno. Their hometowns were close by, and these two were also linked by the same Kurosawa films. Takashi Shimura, an indispensable actor in Kurosawa films such as Seven Samurai and To Live, Ikiru. Whoa. Takashi Shimura, a frequent actor in Akira Kurosawa's films, appeared in more than 400 films as an actor with humanness, modesty, and dignity. But he was neither handsome nor eccentric. Takashi Shimura is from Asago City, Hyogo. He was born at the company residence of Ikuno Mines. His father worked at the Ikuno Ginzan. So there's a couple of different actors and writers that sort of were born around Hyogo Prefecture. When they worked together, did they just Meet by coincidence, or did they know each other beforehand? Or, Mother was Kaku de Asta, you know, a banden in her tegara no cotto. Otaiva, Kuni, Sikara, Tano, banden in her tegara. No, you know, the So, this is where he was born, wasn't it? In this area around here. Until what age did he live here? ああ、12歳。ああ、12歳。で、ディヒエバートークアバウトファンドメモリーズオフディスプレイスシマタカシさんが昭和48年1970年このイクノエ里帰りをされたんですね。で、その時に自分が自分の生まれた家ですね。を
、まあ、パソコンがあったりメールがあったりという世界じゃないですから、うんうん、もう竹,竹,竹の一本だとか棒木で一本で、うん、でも遊べたというそういう時代の子供の頃ですから、うん、何でもあの遊び道具になったああ、it's the sort of place you can make memories in any,、うん、anything ああ、it sounds like it's a great place そんな時代をにその島さんは育てられたということですね、wow. うん So he must have had all these memories because he had that sort of childhood. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The origin of Takashi Shimura's somehow warm acting style. Does it come from the gentleness of this land? This zoo is built inside the castle grounds. What are you doing? Oh, gathering information. Me? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Where are you going? Oh. oh, wow. The castle looks great in here. Is that Sakura? I wonder what it used to look like. I feel like the queen! The brilliant white exterior is plastered using a traditional technique called Shiro Shikui So Nuri Gome Tsukuri. It is known as the White Heron Castle. For its elegant appearance, resembling a white heron spreading its wings. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Himeji Castle. Oh. We are brave soldiers to find this castle main tower. Wow. Hinomoto Ichinoshiro, Himeji Jojoshu, Kuroda Kanbe ni gozaimasu. Hitori Kobizu, Fuki wo nozomazu. Senran no yo, tadashiku kiru to wa muzukashii mono yo no, Nagamasa. Ika ni mo, sore ga shi. Kuroda Kanbe ga chakunan. Wow, I'd love to be a samurai. Do you need to train a lot to be a samurai? Let me show you. Oh, Here we go. Now, Mother! I want to be a samurai. I want to be a samurai. Oh, oh, oh. May I join you? This beautiful castle shows a different expression at night. Oh, wow. You can even create art in a small space like this. Ah, that's so cool. Oh, that's right, he first became famous as an illustrator. Oh, I like this one. so incredible. Oh, wow. That must be from one of his live paintings. I'm wanted for murder anyway, so I might as well. This is a painting of Yukio Mishima. Yoko painted it before Mishima committed suicide. The phrase, I'm running out of time, was something Mishima often said to Yoko. Look at his eyes. They're so troubled, aren't they? So 
this is a series that keeps going. It's so different to the last one. Whoa. Murder? French. They're all forks in the road. Whoa, all of them. Which path do you take? Which path do you take? A blood red moon. Eerie. Whoa. A three-way junction in Yoko's hometown of Nishiwaki City. Inspired by the scenery, Yoko began to draw a series of Y junctions. Ah. These are all part of the Y junction series. This beautiful surface during volcanic activities that occurred about 1.6 million years ago. Lava flowed down from the summit, and when it cooled, beautiful patterned cracks were formed. Willow. Salix Koryanagi, the material of Toyoka Kiryu crafts, became the origin of delicate hand weaving techniques. The willow trees grow in the rich soils by the Murayama River. ね、下になってるところに上乗せてここで角度や、ま、あ、岩を調整しながらきちっと持っててトナリを沿っと持ち上げて裏へ通してよく洪水になってお米が非常に不安定だったからこんな仕事が始まったんですよ。ね、コリアナギと言って下からまっすぐ上に伸びていく柳の木。え、水に濡らすと柔らかくなるからこんなことが。In this way, Toyoka became famous for its bag industry.
In Hyogo, there is even a ritual when eating. Oh, wow. A shrine to the crab. Ah. Cool. Crab is not just food. It is a precious existence that people live in harmony with. Kinosaki Onsen is a hot spring town with a history of around 1,400 years. The Ryoka dates back about 150 years to the Edo period and it still continues as the traditional Japanese style of inn. There is no flashy decor and the well-maintained Japanese garden gives you the spirit of Zen. In Kokin Wakushu, an anthology of Japanese poetry compiled in the 10th century, a poem tells us that an aristocrat of Kyoto, travelling to Tajima no Kuni for Toji, balneotherapy, to cure one's ailments in hot springs. He read the poem when he spent a night in Vitaminora. Yuzuku yo, obotsuka naki wo, tamakushige, futami no ura wa akete koso mime. Drink it. Uh, so, the ratio is found. The picture is here. Okay. And we want to see this picture to you. Yeah. But uh, to respect to everyone, to brown, and then to show this picture to everyone. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, here I look at it, and then one, two. And then how many times do I drink? Uh, three times. Three times. Okay. Mm. Oh wow, the flavor changes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the flavor changes each time. That's amazing. Wow. So why did you? To Japan today. Uh, why did I come to Japan? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I've always been interested in Japanese culture ever mm -hmm. since I was little, and mm -hmm. it's almost my birthday, so oh, okay. <laughs> so this is my present to myself. Oh, congratulations! Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, did you choose to Kinosaki? Uh, why Kinosaki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to experience the true traditional. Mm -hmm. Onsen. Ah. So, Yukata, the many colors, so you can choose that you like. Oh, wow. Ah. They're all so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Which one do you recommend? Yeah, this one from overseas. This this one, like a pink. And what color do you like? Oh, I like, oh, I like every color, but yeah. <laughs>
This hot spring town was discovered when an oriental stork was found healing its wounds in the water. Ah, so this is the Japanese onsen. Other than the private hot springs inside the inns, Kinosaki has seven public bathhouses. Strolling around dressed in a yukata is another way to enjoy the town. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. So how do I eat this one? So just crack and then please use this fork to take out the meat. Okay. Just crack it open. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> what a great sound. This way? Okay. And then this fork is very dangerous. So first you this fork. The fork? Yes. And scrape it out. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. You can use chopsticks. Use the chopsticks. Okay. Okay. It's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Okay. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. And I heard your birthday is coming soon. Yes, yeah. Oh. So I prepared the present for you. Wait, what? Yes. This is uh, a present for you. Thank you. Oh. Please open it. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. The middle? Okay. Thank you so much. You did it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. The chopsticks, so you can use it in your country. Thank you. They're, they're beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Lafcadio Hearn said, the Japanese smile is an elaborate and long cultivated etiquette. It is also a silent language. Expression of the heart through hospitality, omotenashi, is cherished at Kinosaki Onsen, a hot spring town.
so different to the other castles. This grand hall, or Shoin, was an extraordinary scale for one Lord's Hall and was constructed by ancient architectural techniques. It really feels like it's here. The Memorial Hall of the Master Brewer, Tamba Torji. There are displays of brewing tools, materials, and brewing processes divided into sections. These processes are all being lost due to the modernization of brewing technology. Yeah. What's the gentleman in the photo doing? Oh, wow! これ朝の早い仕事なんです。朝の大体3時頃に起きて、あの、3 a.m. 明治大正昭和の初期までの私が行った頃はまだこれでした。もうちょっと黄色くなってるんです。あ、いや、いや。これが燃やし言うてね。工事の元。うん。今もいくら機械化が進んでもこの我々のやっておった工事作りを続けて
ずいぶん古い歌知ってるんやねうんおばあちゃんが歌ってたのなつかしいなあ。During the cold winters, the people of Tajima and Tamba worked far away from home. And the nada no sake was made with the efforts of these brewers. Right? Wow, you know a lot. <laughs> um, my father is a brewer. Uh, Toji in nada. Uh, please come anytime and try his sake. Oh, really? That's amazing. I love sake. As I followed the voice of a small girl singing the Dakansho Bushi inside the Ikuno Ginzan, I had a wonderful encounter with a father and son traveling together. They gave me a pamphlet of a great sake brewery. My father came to Japan at the time of the earthquake. He told me about it. Since I was small. After the earthquake, a shortwave FM radio station was launched in Kobe to provide disaster related information for the foreigners. ここで神戸地震災害対策広報日本語とベトナム語で放送します。皆さんお聞きください。40歳以上で被災した人は無料で健康審査が受けられます。Phát hành ngày 31 tháng 3, việc khám chữa bệnh miễn phí cho những nạn nhân trên 40 tuổi, việc cấp nhà. January 17 ng umaga, nagkaroon po tayo ng malakas na lindol sa Kobe. May posibilidad pong maulit-ulit ang pagkakaroon ng malakas na lindol. I'm glad that the radio channel for foreigners still exists. More than 20 years has passed, and now the methods of spreading information using multilingual social networking services and applications is being studied. At Professor Hidaishi's research centre, a new system to rewrite warning information sent from the public ward into easily understandable Japanese and then translated into English is being developed. That's a problem if there's no place there, yeah. They are also working on a system to transmit information about evacuations, where to find electric power, obtain afflicted certificates and volunteer activities. So why did you decide to start this research? 実は私は1995年のあの神戸の地震に遭いまして、たった一瞬のことでことで、もう全く別の世界になってしまいました。で、食べるものもなければ水もないし、電気もずっと来なかったので、本当に情報がない中でどうやって今日一日を過ごそうかと本当にあのうろうろうろうろ。していました。日本人でもわけがわからなかったのに。あ、本当に、そう、like、everybody doesn't know what to do and what's going on。まして外国から来られた方たち、どんだけ大変だろうなと思ったんですよ。で、その時私たち日本にいるものとしたら何ができるかっていうとやっぱりその人たちの母語で情報を提供したい。かもう一つは信頼できる情報をでお伝えしたい。Because there would be a lot of information coming yeah, in, and, and including fake news. Yeah, yeah. and you don't, you don't, you don't know which is the one you should be following. はい、なのでここがこの研究の始まりです。This project was started by students who had suffered in the earthquake. 私は現金っていう日本語のゲームあったらこれ。
、でも最初は多分日本に来られてびっくりしたと思うんですけど、<笑>僕はビール、この人はビールなんだろうなって。ビール。で、えー、ここでせめて払うをつけると、<笑>私は現金で払う。これこれが書き直し、リライト、あのプリエディットです。これを入れると。I, I pay in cash. Very different meanings. Very different. I pay in cash. Very different meanings. Very different meanings. Because Japan sits on tectonic plate boundaries, the Japanese expect an earthquake at any time. Recently, foreign countries are starting to understand the necessity of a warning system like this. Japan's technology to predict earthquakes and warning systems is so far ahead. Japan Rescue Association, an organization that engages in rescue dogs training, was not well known before the Great Hanshin earthquake. At the time, Rescue missions by Swiss and French rescue dogs gathered attention. Years and years ago, there were a lot of foreigners that, well, people from overseas that came to Japan to help out with one of the big earthquakes and everything that happened. How does this relate? ま、さに立ってから探すことができたりして、で、あの、入ってくることができたんですけど、あの、やっぱり人で、あの、70時間とかけてあるの。70時間以内だったら生存率が高い。でも70時間を制限してしまうと、あの、亡くなっている率が高
犬を、えっと、ワイヤーに吊るして下ろしたりとかそういったこともしてるで、really? はいあの、wow! そういう訓練もしてますね、はい、あだからハンドラーと犬を一緒に抱えて高いところから下に降りたりとか、oh, wow. 逆に登ったりとかっていうふうなこともしてます、はい、And they're okay? で、そうですね、基本的には、wow. はい、あの探せるあの匂いがあれば探すことはできます、はい、Some of the rescue dogs were brought from overseas as well Are they different? スイスだったら火災害救助犬を育成するのにあのスイス軍の施設を使ったりとかそういうことで、うん、あの本当にもうあの実際のビルをまずわざわざ国が建ててでそれを爆破してガレットとしてそこの中で捜索をしたりとかっていうようなことができたりとか、うん、でも私たちは民間なのであのどっちかっていうとあのこういう施設を作るのも自分たちで。訓練に行く日も費用も自分たちで,で、うん、あの出動する費用も自分たちでっていう形になってくるので、うん、そういうのがやっぱり海外と日本のやっぱり救助犬に対する認識の違いっていうのが今ありますね、うんはい、海外はもう本当にあの国としてそういう災害救助犬を育てる育てるっていうことで、うん、費用も全て国が出したりとかっていう形でしてるので、うんはい、What is the, the future of places like this? の国と一緒に活動できるようになれば、もっともっと早く災害救助権の活用ができると思うんですね。そのために災害救助権の認定基準を日本国内で標準化しようと。そうすれば認定された犬だけが登録ができて、国と一緒に何か災害が起きた時にはジャイカみたいなものと一緒にこう活動ができたりとかっていう風なところまで持っていきたいっていう思いはあります。So it's still that strong connection with with overseas and within Japan. That's amazing. When leaving Japan, the foreign rescue team all praised the calmness, courage, spirit of helping each other, and the effort to recovery of the Japanese people. I became more interested in the people of Hyogo. These lights lit up in memory of the victims of the devastating earthquake and praying for the city's recovery. Kikuseidai stands so high, it feels as if you can actually hold the stars in your hands. Kikusei is written with the kanji kiku, meaning to scoop, and sei written with the kanji meaning the stars. The beautiful night view 
has returned to Hyogo after overcoming the effects of the earthquake. world's longest suspension bridge that extends 1,991 meters. Enjoy the panorama at 300 meters above sea level. <laughs> Thank you. Challenge.
Karena ini red one. Rashi san? Nobu on san? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is him. <laughs> eh, nice to see oh. you again. <laughs> wow. wow. The first island created of the Japanese islands. <sighs> is that tree the Okusu? It brings luck for a long life in romance, childbirth, and a successful marriage. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We meet again. It's a miracle. What a miracle. Tadashi-san? Wow, that's a golden wedding anniversary, isn't it?
遠い遠い神代の昔からこの場所にご夫婦の神様をお祭りをしたわけでございまして日本人は夫婦は一つである親子も一つであるというそういう家庭の成り立ちの観念をしっかりと捉えながら生活をしていたということがわかるわけでありましてこのことは非常に大事なことであろうかというふうに思うわけであります。今日は記念食事で何の木を二株植えさせていただきますけれども、比喩がある木であります。まあ、イチョウの木なんかは有名でありますけれども、オスとメスの木があって、何っていうのは平和のこともなぎって言いますよね。50年を迎えたご夫婦にふさわしい木であるという。さらにご検証で、仲睦まじく友白髪の素晴らしい人生をお歩きいただきますように、本日は誠におめでとうございます。The god Izanagi came down to, and it is told that if you can see the heart shape, your love will succeed. Thank you. <laughs> Father and son, I had a chance to see a golden wedding. Will I find a soulmate that I could spend my life with, hand in hand, just like these two trees of Nagi? Hyogo, please let me be your apprentice. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
ナギは3つのストーリーが交差します兵庫チャンネルや YouTube でご覧ください<笑>兵庫県。